right, well, welcome back. Um, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how to factor um, trinomials, um, quadratic trinomials, by using what's referred to as the AC method. Now, if you don't know what the AC method, um, it's semi-popular. A lot of different YouTube um, channels offer different math series offer this method. Not really found in many books. Um, so I'm going to just kind of explain it because I think it's a pretty cool, fast, efficient way of how to factor tough ones like this. And also can be used to factor any trinomial that you see. Well, let's start with a hard one. All right, now the AC method comes from where we're going to use the A and C terms, or coefficients. If you recall, uh, not, we're not referring to this A. I probably should have put X here, so I apologize. But our A value we usually have is we have AX squared plus BX plus C. And what we're going to do with the AC method is we're essentially going to um, take A and C and multiply them together. All right, so we're going to take A and C. So in this case, we're going to take 6, and we're going to multiply that with 2. All right, now when we have that, all right, that A and C in our values, all right, we're going to multiply them together. And what we have then is this right here um, is going to equal 12. Now, in order to do the AC method, this 12, if you know anything about factoring, has to equal the B value, okay? The sum of the factors of this have to equal B. All right, now our B value is seven, all right, is seven. So what we're looking for are all the factors of 12 that will give us seven, all right? That'll give us seven. So, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take these factors and find their sums, okay? So the factors of 12, all right, of the AC. All right, so now we're gonna take, all right, factors of 12, we have 12, all right, and one, so it's one, all right, that would be one, correct? Um, and so that's gonna give us, all right, well, put that right there. All right, and that's gonna give us 13, well, that's that doesn't equal seven. All right, then we would go next one, that would equal 12. Um, what would be next one? So we have like six times two, so six plus two, that equals eight, that doesn't work out, all right? And now what we have is, we're just going to another one, we're just going to go four plus, or four, four times three, right? Four times three, well, four plus three, hey, that equals seven. What do you know? That's what we're looking for. So these two don't work, but four and three, yes, that equals seven, the B value, and that's where we're going to go over here. So what we do next is after we find our B value, okay, that we're going to do, when we find the, all right, factors of that, we're going to now set this up. We're going to take six A squared, and since these are the factors that make B, we're going to take, these are going to be coefficients next to, all right, our A value, right, in this case, or the X. So we're going to have, is we're going to have 4X, 4A, this, I'm sorry, plus 3A, and it's going to be plus 2. From here, what we're going to do is what's going to be called grouping, okay, grouping. Whenever you have a four term like this, uh, we can add these together, but once again, it's going to equal 7A, so we're not going to do that. Um, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to group these two, all right, um, the 6a squared plus 4a and then 3a plus 2. So this is what we're going to call it what is referred to as grouping. All right, with grouping, we are going to factor out a common, all the common numbers or common factors out of these first two terms. So what we're going to factor out is we can factor out a 2, I think we can factor out an a as well, yeah, that works out. When we factor out a 2a, we'll have this 3a left over, and over here we'll have a plus 2. Now here, we look and say, okay, what do we got here? 3a plus 2, there is nothing simple to factor out, so we're just going to have 3a plus 2 is going to stay the same. Now, what we graded, though, is if you notice right here, these two are the same, and that's the key thing. Those two are the same. So grouping states, as you group them together, you factor out the common thing, and then you factor out that common factor. So we're going to take 3a plus 2, and then what's left over? If I factor out 3a plus 2, I have 2a, plus when I factor out 3a plus 2 out, I have plus 1, and that, my friends, is the factor of 6a squared plus 7a plus 2. And that is what's using the AC method. Pretty awesome, huh? Well, I'm going to, that's the first one I have of doing this. I'm going to do some other ones, some other tutorials on how to use the AC method. So hopefully this gets you started. 
Um, if you have, need some other examples, I'm going to have some other ones posted in just a little bit. All right, so good luck and God bless.